Alrighty guys, so we are ready to begin round two. Last time we fired approximately 1500 rounds and uh, we're waiting on our friends to show up, but we're gonna go ahead and start it off because uh, daylight's a burning. So first off, let's see, uh, starting temperature is 32 degrees. Go ahead and light her off there, boss. That one was a short mag. Uh, yeah, that was the, the 20, uh, right? Previous testing. Malfunction, user induced, uh, from a uh, from bumfire. I did that last time, <laughs> so we're not going to be able to count those <laughs> as ham because I mean hammer follow. I mean, it does just make sense. Um, okay, you know I'm going to finish this mag out. We'll take a temp. Okay, okay, we got we got room. Five forty five. Nope. <laughs> Take another rag. <laughs> Error six ten. All right. So, one of the things that we noticed in the uh, testing thus far is that this safety lever is a little bit flimsy and it can walk out of that channel during shooting and that'll cause an interruption. And this is really easy to fix. Normally it's actually the opposite direction that you have to do this, but basically what we're going to do is we're gonna tighten it by bending it. And this is just to make our lives easier. Uh, normally they come really tight and you have to loosen them from the factory. So all we do is we ro rotate it like that. And we're just gonna pull in on it right like that and bend it and we're gonna try it again and that feels much more secure in that detent. So it's actually creating tension against the receiver. So it's, it's not going to just slide out of that notch right there. Um, the detents look fine on, or that, the, the space for the fire is a decently deep detent. It's, it's right, that just needed to be tightened. So now hopefully we won't have that problem for the rest of the testing. 4.5-ish. She's in there, close it, does not close. Go ahead and apply some excess tension, does not close of 10.2-ish, which is, I believe, exactly what we were getting on the last test. So this gun is not moving, which is good. Um, okay. We have some kind of malfunction here. We made it about halfway through the, the magazine. I'm going to put this back. This is a pretty hard primer strike, I do have to say. I'm going to put it back in and see if it goes. Like it. Yeah, we're going to call it uh, a dead dead round. Okay. Yep, that is definitely not the firearm's fault. We're down one round out of the 5,000. Okay. All right, here we go.
never mind. Five fifty. I'm getting, I mean, we're right at six. We're going to break it off. Okay. Okay. Tracking what we're getting. These are not like statistically significant measurements here. Of course, I have to be able to see what I'm doing. Okay. Now, I do see that we've moved some. Okay. So we were at four, four and a half. Now we're at like three and a half. Now that could be how I'm measuring it, but uh, you know we'll we'll continue to track it. Eleven point six, which I think is more than it was last yeah, time, right? 10 .28, I think. So that could be this trunnion or this bolt changing dimension. Them getting peened together a whole millimeter, right? We're gonna have to check that again. We're gonna take another measurement just to make sure. It is hot too, so that could be a thing. But it's still 11 and some change. <laughs> Your shoulder raw yet? Uh, I stripped down because it was sliding all over the place. Getting a little tender. gonna go up to the truck and get a jacket just to put on my shoulder. You can have my other jacket if Ooh. you want. You know, you could always shoot left-handed. Yeah, I might have to try it. You might have to try it? It's gonna be embarrassing and funny, but I'm gonna try it. Ah. It is not an AR. <laughs> I'm going to tell you that right now. <laughs> Shooting it left-handed is not as pleasant. Uh, four. Oh. Failure to feed. It's like interrupted going in. And, uh-oh. Is it bound? Let's see. It looks like it may be. Nope. No, we don't. Yep. We had two, so one was trying to come out of the mag, so it must have gotten stuck on the second one. So you guys can see there, one there, one there. So this is liable to fall. It is not. <laughs> see that? That is all, we'll take the guts out. So it, it, it literally crushed that second round. Let's see if we can get it. Yeah, just a little bit of assistance. And you can see how much of that round was dug into the bullet guide. So what we're gonna do is just, they don't seem to be unhomed. It's not like they've been stressed out of the case or anything. So we're just gonna put them right back in. Yeah, nothing's bent or broken or anything. So that's good. <laughs> it says 21. Okay, like kindergarten wrote that. Did Bacon label these? No, that one was me. Are you I was sure? really. If I was, Bacon did it, I could believe it. I was uh, kind of maybe drinking at the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's awful. No, <laughs> not doing it. No. That's even worse. <laughs> some space. We're going to rob ski this. <laughs> no, we have to, right, to make sure it will cycle, right? Yeah. Ready? So, so We'll just, um, we'll do 
at the van. My phone, not yours. Bring him in so I can talk to him. Hi, yeah, what's up? Are you at the range now? Yep. I'm pulling in. I'll be there in a minute. All right. We're at six, so we'll, we'll break it off. That we were at, right? Well, last time it was three and a half. Rider forward. No clothes. Extra. No clothes. Yeah, 10.5-ish. Let's take it all the way down here and see if it's bending. No, 10.6. All right, guys, so we are going to recommence, and this time we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to shoot six mags, and then we're going to wait two minutes, and then we're going to try uh, re-upping, because we did it last time for that double feed that we had, and we were able to get a total of 12 uh, before she went over heat. So we're going to try that this time, see if we can be a little bit more efficient. If you just, since you just arrived, if you want to run all six, you can. <laughs> I can smell it all the way over here. All right, break time. Break time? Yep. All right, two minute break. Let's get an idea, yeah, figure out what that I can't really see through these glasses, but it's definitely hanging off one side to the other. I mean, it rattles a little bit, but it's not like the, like the lower furniture is fine. You are on the internet, so. Oh. Did you get it? No, I thought I did. Oh no, he missed. the action into the wind <laughs> take it all the way take it all the way back to the bench and come back You're an good on that and that's pretty much it I don't put anything in the firing pin channel because I don't want that to collect soot and ultimately potentially cause uh, some kind of issue like slam fires and things like that. Now, the one thing I do want to point out here while I got you guys is uh, that it appears to me as though we're having the walking out of a rivet there on that carrier. So where the piston, the piston rivet, you can see that that should not be like that. And if I show you the other one, you can see that it's nice and flush but it seems to be coming out and we'll get a close one there uh, in the debrief provided this thing continues to run through the rest of the, and it's deformed. Like I can't just push it, I can't just push it back in. So we'll monitor that. Headspace, or excuse me, field safety check. Three, we're hitting right at three, a little bit, a little bit over three. Take a measurement here. Yeah, we're, we're looking at, we've got some movement. Okay, so we're, we're looking at, uh, it is shrinking. So it is moving just ever so slightly, not enough to be concerned about right now. And remember guys, we still are on the no-go gauge. We haven't moved to the fuel gauge yet. Spangers, are you having a good time? I'm having a great time. Yeah. Yeah, there's there's nothing like a, a narrow, hard plastic stock continually beating into your shoulder for <laughs> 1,279. Well, I guess I shouldn't say that. I didn't shoot it all. But... Yeah, but... Anyway, it's great. Yeah, so we did a count. We did have 1,279 rounds uh, on the gun. Um, I think we're going to finish it out this time. So, without further ado... Oh! Did you hear that? Did you hear that slam yeah. fire? Yep. Yeah. Yep. 
Keep going. All right. I don't know if there's anything left or not. Yeah. Whoa, did you see that? Check this out. Did you see it? This this is what landed just here. Ho oh. ho. Is there a round in that chamber? Bring it bring it in home. Let's take a look. Is there a round in that chamber? No. No. It completely came out of the magazine. It came out of the magazine, out the ejection port, <laughs> and landed just short of the camera. Make a note of that. I because did. we had a similar issue last test where one came out where two came out of the magazine and one was caught so we need to make sure it's not the same magazine whoa you did it again Uh-oh, bring it in. You can see that that is an empty case. Magazine half full. And it kind of crushed her up in there because it, it hit off the, obviously off the guide. Yep. Number one, number one. Ninety-three. All right, guys. Well, so that is uh, part two of the Visca test. We're gonna take her back to the uh, to the shop, do our final headspace on part two. Basically, make sure the gun is still safe. Do the die chem test, all that sort of stuff that you saw previously, to make sure that the gun is still acting the way that it should. We obviously had a few more malfunctions this time than we did last time. Uh, round counts just getting up on the gun. Some of them may have been magazine related. As I was looking at it, I noticed that the top of the handguard you can smell the melting plastic and you can see how it has shifted up slightly hold it still yep shifted there yep shifted there see it? nice I mean, all the heat's up here and as you're holding the gun and you're pushing up or you've got tension on it it's pushing into that hot metal and it's just it's basically disintegrating it at the front that's allowing it to move yeah it's smoshing it smoshing that's a technical term. We're keeping that one. It's going in the books. O S H I N G. S M Smosh. Or S M Wash. Swash. Yeah. So would it be a O or an A? I have no clue.